Well, welcome back to the show. We got my man Mark D is back in the chat today. Speaking of D, he says, I predict the Eagles are winning the East. That's okay. Um, I predict the Eagles will probably be last in the East. Maybe. I don't know. Spoiler, I guess. It, it, it is what it is. But, guys, welcome to the chat. We also got Jim Powell in the chat as well. He says, it's 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 the Cowboys. No one cares except us Raiders fans who are waiting for the Raiders to Raider and get Dak early. So, Jim says, Raiders are going to suck. Jim says, the Cowboys are going to suck. And they're going to make a trade to get Dak Prescott. If they make a trade to make Dak Prescott, that is the most Raiders thing ever to do. Because Dak Tres- Pre- Prescott's up for a contract at the end of the year. And I, I believe he has a no trade clause as well. I am correct. He does have a no trade clause. Thank you. So, I, I, I don't know. John says, don't worry, bunch of my Raider bashing. It's not bashing if it's facts, Jim. It's not bashing if it's facts. <laughs> Jim also says, America's team, LOL, they got sloppy seconds. That, that's okay. Okay, I did, I did, I did. Scott Sanders is in the chat. What's up, Scott? He, uh, What's that little flag mean right there? I think you're... You're a milestone follower, so thank you for reaching us or help help us reach our uh, goal, uh, Scott. He says, until Jerry gives up some control to the coaches, they will be mediocre all the time. The last seven years-ish, Jerry Jones is starting to give more control to Stephen Jones. They have nailed the draft. Stephen Jones has done a great draft job for the Dallas Cowboys. And I think you're right. I mean, like Jerry still has that very um, persuasive thing about him saying, Hey, do it my way or go find a new job. And that, that has kind of been the um, biggest thing about the Dallas Cowboys is their, their head coach has always had to been a yes man. And that's why Jason Garrett did stay around for as long as he did. Cause he was the yes man. He, he was the, ultimate fall guy, but he was always a yes man, yes man, yes man. Uh, so I get it. I get it. With that being said, Mark says, Jerry Jones said they were going all in and it meanwhile crickets crickets. And that is a perfect segue to my first question of the day about the Dallas Cowboys. Before we get into the schedule breakdown of the toy of their 2024 seasons, it says, I got to ask the question. Did the Dallas Cowboys get better this off season? Many people like Mark said crickets. We heard crickets all off season. And when you look at this list of names that the Dallas Cowboys lost this off season, they released Michael Gallup, which was now with the um, uh, Las Vegas Raiders. They let go Leighton Van Der Esch, which is injury prone guy. I think he broke his neck again. Uh, they re, uh, traded Tyron Smith, Tony Pollard, let walk Tyler Badass, uh, Dante flower, uh, G- G- more Jonathan Hankins. Uh, they less, they l- lost a lot of players, but when you subtracted most of these guys, right? There's a lot of injury prone guys here. Leighton Vanderish. He hadn't played a full season his whole career in the NFL. Tyron Smith, habitually hurt game after game, year after year. When he's in there, he is dominant, but he's he's only played like 70% of the game. Tony Pollard, yes, he was franchise tagged last season. The previous year before that, he broke his leg toward the end of the season, but but that year, he was a great one-two punch with Zeke, but we found out quickly that he could not be the one guy. He needed a one-two punch guy with him. Don, Dante Flower. Really, the only reason why he had a job last season is because uh, Diggs went down with that ACL injury what, week three or week four, uh, uh, the week before the 49ers game. So, yes, they lost some players, but at the same time, a lot of these names are not really true g- g- hurt losses, right? I mean, I guess Tyron Smith was, but they did sign Eric Hendricks, a linebacker from the Vikings and Chargers. I think a really good pickup. Will place, will replace uh, uh, Leighton Vanderis. 
Royce Freeman will replace Tony Pollard along with Zeke. Also in the draft, they address the offensive line, right? Their number one pick this season, Tyler Guyton from Oklahoma, going to pick up and left right off where Tyron Smith would leave off. They also drafted my man Cooper Beebe from the Kansas State University, added some more offensive line help. They also added a, res, a edge rusher in Marshawn Keeland to, uh, to maybe help with the defensive lines that they missed, like a lot of backup guys like Neyland Gilmore, uh, Dante, and, of course, Tyler as well. But the most important addition that the uh, Dallas Cowboys had this offseason was their six-round pick. Their six-round their six pick, Ryan Florney, from Southeast Missouri State. This man was a captain. He led his team to 1,000-yard receiving in 11 games, twice when he was with Southeast Missouri State. He is going to be a diamond in the rough, and he'll pick up right where Michael Gallup left off. So to say that the Cowboys did nothing all offseason, crickets, going all in, 